Hi everybody, this is Amy from Clayground Paint Your Own Pottery Studio in Worcester, Massachusetts. Today I am showing you a plate that I was working on. Um, it was a 12 by 12 platter and I was working with an 8 by 8 pattern, um, which looked good on a small salad plate, but I wanted to put it on this larger 12 by 12 platter. So what I did was I placed the image down in the middle and I traced around it. Um, and I started to write a phrase to kind of fill in the area at the top, but I didn't think it looked right. And the reason why I think it didn't look right is because of something called the rule of thirds. Um, you've probably seen this grid on your, um, when you go to take a picture, um, a square photo in like Instagram or something like that. And what it is, is this, it's this um, kind of tic-tac-toe grid that you make on um, in your composition and what the idea is is you want to have different focal points of your item uh, or your drawing line up either line up on those tic-tac-toe lines or get placed right where lines intersect um, and the phrase that I wrote really didn't meet any of those requirements um, so I said no I'm not doing that so I added some M birds as I call them on one line and I put right in an intersection uh, a sun um, right up there at the top. So that seemed to work better for me. As you can see on this eight by eight inch um, composition, the tic-tac-toe or the rule of thirds um, works here because you get the, the, eye, the eyes of the bird line up on one line and um, where the lines intersect, especially where the little baby bird is, right where she nestles into her mom, that's like right at an intersection. And then the branch lines up along the bottom of a tic-tac-toe in that one, in that little one. But on the big, big composition, you need a little something extra at the top and you needed it in a certain place. So that's an explanation of the rule of thirds, and I hope that helps you. See you soon. Bye-bye.